What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to do our Christmas versus video. We are going to put two Christmas classics in the steel cage against each other and find out which one comes on top and this one's special because Bob Clark brought us both of these films. We're going to be talking about 1974's Black Christmas and then nine years later he brought us in 1983 A Christmas Story. So like I said, two Highly, very important Christmas classics and the staple of cinema. And today we're going to talk about these two films, pin them against each other and see which one comes out on top. And of course, this is just my opinion and all that kind of stuff. So that means I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your opinions on these two great films. So let's get into this. Roll it. So as I said, today is our versus video. We are picking two classics and we're gonna put them up right here. We got A Christmas Story, we'll keep one right here, and Black Christmas. Both very important films in my life and childhood because I'm a huge horror fan and I love Christmas themed horror films. So Black Christmas is important for that reason. But A Christmas Story is a big important film to me because that's actually one of my aunt's favorite films rest in peace we're gonna miss you so much and like I said she really introduced me to that film at a young age plus on I think it's USA channel every Christmas they play that film for 24 hours all day so if you haven't seen a Christmas story it's kind of wild like you, you would have to have seen this film at some point in your life so like I said today we're going to talk about my feelings on both of these films and let's start off with a black Christmas since that one did come out first in 1974 and this one is probably easily one of the most iconic slashers of all time. Black Christmas really did lay down the foundation for what slashers would be doing in the future. You know what I mean? Those POV shots, you know, that creepy atmosphere, really good kind of music setting the score for the film, and also just creepy vibes. You know what I mean? It's a film that's unsettling. When you watch it, you feel uncomfortable at some points, but it has good enough Christmas vibes, like I said, that it stands out, you know what I mean? It's not just your typical slasher, you know, someone hunting down a bunch of pretty ladies and they die. No, that's not it. This film really does get, like I said, under your skin and it's a very unsettling film and I love how Bob Clark handles this film and doesn't really treat it like a slasher film. He really treats it more like a kind of detective investigation thriller because we have John Saxon in this film who plays our police officer and I think he's much better in this film than he is in Nightmare on Elm Street. He plays a cop in both films, but I think his his presence and his aura is just stronger in Black Christmas than it is in A Nightmare on Elm Street playing Nancy's father. So I really do love his addition to this film. And like I said, having Bob Clark behind the camera treating this much more like a thriller investigation type film and you as a viewer the first time you watch it, you're really trying to dissect, oh, who's doing these killings? Who's behind it? What's going on? it really does fit the atmosphere and make this such a monumental film. Also, we have another great cast in A Black Christmas like Margot Kidder and Olivia Hussey, two really great actresses, and both their characters really stand out in this film, you know what I mean? We have so many, just that kind of sorority house of the girls, but we have the kind of alcoholic drunk one that likes to, you know, talk some shit and, you know, very loosey-goosey with the mouth and she's not afraid to say whatever she wants to say. Then we have another woman who's, you know, really amazing that Olivia Hussey plays that one where it's like, you know, important at that time is I think they handled this well, is that she's pregnant, she has a boyfriend, and she wants to get an abortion. So this film actually has a nice subplot that is unlike films at that time, you know what I mean? When you go to slashers, you don't typically see a much deeper subplot. They don't always do that. A lot of times it's just focusing on the kills, the killers, the graphics, and you know, the cute ladies and stuff like that. But this one actually has a deep subplot underlining the main plot that actually has something to say like about what's going on now. So I love that factor in this film is that when you watch Black Christmas today, it still stands the test of time because it has important things to say. So as you can see, I'm very high on Black Christmas. Like I said, this is a very monumental, important slasher in my childhood, and I'm a huge horror fan, so that's definitely one that sticks close to me. And in terms of Christmas horror, it is my number one top dog Christmas horror. So if I ever do do my top 10 or a top 20 Christmas horror list, 
be sure you're going to be seeing Black Christmas on that list. So now let's jump forward nine years to 1983, A Christmas Story. You know, man, another Christmas classic brought to you by Bob Clark starring Peter Billingsley. And man, this one's just really good. We have Melinda Dillon as the mother as well. And Darren McGavin, I believe he yeah, has the father. Sorry, I forgot there, I butchered that. But yeah, that's their father character. And I think this is just one of those films that it's it's wholesome. It's a family movie. And I like the fact that it takes place in the 1940s. You know, it came out in the 80s, but it, it has strong nostalgia because it at that time in the 80s, you know, the 40s was nostalgic. You know what I mean? People remember that back in the day, that time, you know, when you really had to listen to your programs on the radio. It was all about family time and really getting to know your friends and talking you know it's so unlike how the 80s would be and how our generation is now so that's why i like a christmas story is because it's really old school wholesome family type film it also has some of the most iconic christmas moments that have ever been filmed in cinema like you know when we have ralphie's friend sticking his tongue to a frozen pole you know and it gets stuck like that's just a moment that even if you haven't seen this film I think you know that scene, you know what I mean? It's just a scene that's been talked about. Also, I love the fact that in A Christmas Story, this original film, the I like the dream sequences that we have with Ralphie. I think it's really funny that we get to live in his head, you know what I mean? And that's fabulous. And we have the voiceover as well, you know, Ralphie telling us how he was as a child and like how he wants to be a writer and stuff. So I think that serves the the story well because it puts us in his shoes and really gets you to know like oh this is how it was back then this is his family and stuff and i think it, it has really like I said really strong christmas vibes as well you know what i mean dealing with the santa claus and what he wants from santa for christmas and writing the letter and all that stuff plus they live in indiana so there's tons of snow and it looks freaking freezing over there so that also serves your your movie well when you're trying to do a christmas theme movie i think having a lot of snow and making those actors and making it look like just a cold atmosphere that really makes it feel like that time of the year. And like I said, this one also has strong nostalgia vibes for me too because my aunt introduced me to this film and we would watch it, you know, every Christmas. And like I said, you can't really not not watch it because they play it every year on Christmas for 24 hours and stuff like that. And that can get kind of tiresome for a little bit. But in terms of Christmas films, non-horror Christmas films, A Christmas Story is in my top 10. But it's not my number one top dog. So now we're getting into the kind of the versus thing. We were, like I said, putting these movies against each other. And for me, because of Black Christmas is a horror film and it was so monumental in some of the things that it did and the foundation that it laid for slashers going into the 80s and stuff like that. Black Christmas is one that I fancy more and I return to more often than A Christmas Story. I do love both. But if I was to give them a rating, Black Christmas is like a 10 out of 10 film for me. Like, I would not change that film. I, I actually prefer to think this is the only Black Christmas. I don't like the remakes. Are, uh, the second one's okay. But, I mean, the first remake was okay. But that second remake from, like, 2018 was freaking awful. So I kind of just think Black Christmas, this original one, is the only one that exists. In terms of a Christmas story, I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10. So that's where I'm sitting. They're both very highly of films that I appreciate highly, you know what I mean? But if I was to pick one and had to choose one to watch right now, I would watch A Black Christmas. And that's the one that I lean towards most. And me, that's like I said, personal taste thing. I'm a huge horror fan and I love slashers. That's my favorite subgenre. So it's definitely going to be a film I lean to the most over a Christmas story. And that's not to, like I said, discount or talk any, like I said, I'm not talking crap about a Christmas story. We're just picking one over the other. Like I said, this one is a 9 out of 10. This one's like a 10 out of 10 film for me. But I totally understand if someone puts a Christmas story above Black Christmas, especially if you're not a horror fan, you're definitely going to lean more towards a Christmas story because of the more wholesome comedy vibes. You know, his mother is fabulous in this film. Like, she's great. The actress, Melinda Dillon, she does a fabulous job playing that character. Even his brother. His brother is silly in that movie. So I think it's one of those films. Both of these films stand the test of time. And, like, even showing people decades from now, I think these films will still hit hard because, like I said, that's when you can really tell it's a classic. If it's a film that you can watch 20 years later or 30 years later and it still has an impact in some form or fashion, then that's an instant classic to me. But like I said, these are just my thoughts and my opinions on these two Christmas classics. That means I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your thoughts and opinions on both of these films. Which one do you lean more towards? Because maybe we'll get it going on in the comments. We'll like take a little, you know, a little tally and we'll figure out like, 
how many fans are of each one they you know which ones they are and if you haven't seen these films what the hell are you doing stop this video right now get out of here and go watch these christmas classics because it's the perfect time right now why because it's the christmas season and they're two amazing films so thank you for sticking around me all and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day peace out